Hi, this is Ed Dickerson with Thinkers, Not Reflectors. You know, curriculum is always a hot topic with homeschoolers, especially at the beginning of school year, and especially for beginning homeschoolers. I always say that wherever there are two or three homeschoolers gathered together, they will talk about curriculum, as in, I use Abeka or Rod and Staff or whatever. What do you use? For most homeschoolers, curriculum means a boxed set of books, all from the same publisher, which are designed to cover everything your child needs to know that year. That's the theory anyway. And as be, because people have such a fixation on, on uh, curriculum, I often get a question about this virtually every year. And a question usually goes something like this. I have a nine-year-old girl that I want to homeschool. What would be the right curriculum for her? I always answer it in the same way. I say, let's take a little thought experiment. I'll answer your question if you want me to. But the first thing I'd like to do is to take this thought experiment. Let's pretend that we're going to go to the mall and we're going to buy shoes for your nine-year-old girl. And so that's what we do. We go to the mall and we see the shoe salesman there in the store and we say, where are the nine-year-old girl shoes? We have a nine-year-old girl and we need shoes for her. And so he goes to the back room and he does whatever they do in the back room and he comes back out and sure enough, he has a box of shoes, a shoe box that says nine-year-old girl shoes. Great, isn't it? These are exactly the shoes that your nine-year-old girl is going to need. At least that's what he says, and that's what the box says, just like the box your curriculum says. This is the right curriculum for your child. The problem comes when we open up the box and we take a look, and it becomes very clear, first of all, that number one, your kid doesn't like these shoes, and number two, they're not going to fit. Now, if they were shoes, there's no question what you would do. You would tell the shoe salesman, take these back. They don't fit. Unfortunately, when it's curriculum, we tend to think that there's something wrong with our child rather than something wrong with the curriculum. Or we think, well, uh, maybe the shoe salesman should use a better shoehorn technique. If he knew how to use that shoehorn properly, those feet would go right in those shoes. Of course, in terms of curriculum, that means if our teaching technique was better, and that is fun to add a load of guilt uh, to mom or dad, whoever's doing the teaching in the homeschool. It just makes things worse without any better. This always shocks me for the simple reason that we would never think of forcing our children's feet into shoes that didn't fit. In fact, we would consider that to be abusive, probably, certainly unkind. And yet, when it comes to curriculum, we think somewhere out there, there's a curriculum that we should be able to force our child's mind into. But you know, it's just not true. Curriculum are not written for children. Like any other book, a curriculum is written for the people who buy the book. And the people who buy the books are curriculum committees, school boards, state school boards, teachers, and parents who uh, are looking for curriculum, the right curriculum for their homeschooler. Just always amazes me that we would, we would do such a thing. But of course, now you're saying, well, if there isn't a curriculum, that is exactly right for my child, what can I do? The answer to that is a little simpler, but also a little more unusual, perhaps, than you might think. There is a way to find the right curriculum to fit you and your homeschool and your homeschooler. But you're not going to find it on a box. No one has written that curriculum for your child. If it's going to be written, collected, whatever, you're going to have to do it. But there's not time for that in, in one video. So in the next one, I'll take up the subject of how to begin the process of finding a curriculum that is just right for you and your homeschooler.
not one that fits everybody else. Until next time, remember, the future belongs to thinkers, not mere reflectors of other men's thoughts. Thank you.